Hey, what's up guys? It's Ahmed here, A to Z Auto Masters, and today we'll show you how to change the spark plugs on a 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 3.6. Okay, so we got the hood open now. We're doing the spark plugs. Just lift up on this cover and just push in. Comes in. With an eight millimeter. Just gonna take this clamp off. and the other one here for the intake too. You have this sensor, you squeeze and unplug and you can just lift up here, right there, slide it out. Okay, so we have three coils right here. There's three spark plugs underneath and we have three in this side. The three in this side will require removing the intake manifold and we're gonna show you how to remove the intake manifold. We're gonna start with these first, take them out and switch them and we're gonna do this next. With a 10 millimeter socket, Plug, just squeeze and pull. Those ignition coils, you can just wiggle them out. I like to keep them back in place, so just line them up to put them back exactly where they came out from. Okay, so we got the ignition coils removed with a 5.8 spark plug socket. Tip is no good, you can see that. Okay, guys, just a quick comparison here the new and the old. And we're using the Denso Iridium. Ignition coils go back. Okay, that was the easy part. Now is the hard part. Take this manifold off to get to the three in this side. So we got this plug throttle body. This clip you can pull out. Okay, you have the hose. You have this hose right there. You have sensor in the back. You have the hose right there. You have sensor in the back. You have all these bolts, eight millimeter. One here, one there. One here, back here. All these has to come off. The brackets on the side with the 13s, one here, one back here. Okay, all right, there. All these get to come out. Eight millimeter. Squeeze. Pull out. This holds in the 
of the sensor bed there. Okay guys, so now we're gonna disconnect this from the air filter. You can probably just take this cover off for now. Just give you some space to work. Put this up here. And you got the 10 millimeter and one in the back for the two brackets that's holding the intake manifold down. Okay, so we got both uh, both bolts out. Now we have the 13 millimeter that holds the bracket on the bottom, which is right here. Let's see if we can get you a better view of that. Okay, it's right underneath this. And one back here that holds this coolant line. Down here. Seems like the back one is already. Somebody took it out and never put it back together. So there's no nut back here. These pop up clips. Okay guys, so we basically loosen the bottom bolts, just slacked enough so you can have a little bit of slack on this bracket to move it backward. Same thing in the back. Just move it out of the way. But the bolt's still in place in the bottom. Just slack them a little bit. This hose attach here, just put a kind of popper to it, just pop it out. Okay, back to that last bolt in the manifold back here. That's basically the hardest bolt out of all. things back here we have to take care of. Again, we have this harness out of the way. The clip just pop it up. Senses are plugged. This hose. Okay. This harness. Okay. 
we have the 10 millimeter nut and another one behind. That millimeter nut right there in the bracket. Okay, we're gonna take both of them out. Ten millimeter socket is done. Okay, now the two bolts are out. Make sure all these eight millimeter are up. And we can now lift up and try to slide out. Make sure all of them are up. If one of them is down, it's not gonna let you slide it out. So probably this back one have to come up a little more. It's not sliding out. Look down here. You can see the bolts are sticking out and that's what preventing you. One, two, three. Lift them up. You get a flat head like that and just use it to lift up on those bolts. <laughs> okay, so we got the PCB hose. We can detach now. You got it. You take that place. Now the platinum out of place. This is later. Take it out. And same exact process with the spark plugs. Unplug the ignition coils. Four, three. Okay, next. This. Okay. So here, it's for plugs. Not good. Okay. So here. I never recommend dropping the spark plugs inside. You can bend the tip. Just use a magnetic socket like that and just lower them slow. Okay, all spark plugs are in. Now, drop these ignition coils back. Same order, same spot. later back do not forget that okay okay guys so that's the view now without the intake manifold uh, the job is done the spark plugs are replaced and we're ready to install we're gonna put the new lanham gasket in here just a quick tip before you start assembling to make sure there's the, the manifold right there you see how these sticking out Make sure you push them all back. Okay, and unscrew them from the back. Let them like that. Let them stay up. So when you lower the manifold to put back, they won't fall through and they're gonna prevent you from putting the manifold back. Just make sure they're all pushed up and actually screwed into the manifold. So just a quick test to make sure won't have a hard time installing this back. As I said, you're gonna push these, all the screws back and make sure they're screwed to the cover. Put it upside down and make sure none of these screws fall back down. Make sure they're all stuck up top. Okay, so we're ready for installation. We got the plan gasket here. Just put it in place. 
Okay, just make sure all the gaskets are pushed down, sitting good in place. <coughs> and now we can just slide this intake manifold back. Basically, these two bolts here is gonna have to slide into the bracket in the back. And don't forget that PCB hose, you can slide it in at the same time. PCB hose is in. Now, slide this in place. Right there. Perfect. Make sure these are all straight lined up. Okay. And these back here, just move the bracket. Just push these brackets away and let it sit. Make sure it's sitting right. And just tighten all the bolts. Okay, it's tied to plastic, so don't go crazy, don't break it. You can torque them down to seven, between seven and nine newton meter. That's the right number. Okay, so all the bolts are tied down. You're just gonna put all the hoses, all the electrical wiring back, the two brackets on the side, everything in reverse order. This, uh, I really don't think I should show you how to put everything back. Just the sliding the manifold. But other than this, everything is still explanatory. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And you can leave us in the comment below any request for uh, a job that you need done and you want to see how it's done we can uh, make a video for you thank you